Hi, this is Kyle Westorf with Glycode, and in this video, we're going to walk through the Glycode ceramic coating application steps and providing you with the before and after photos. The first step of the application process is washing down the boat to safely remove any dirt, oils, salt buildup from the surface, then buffing the surface with our nano compound. This is a medium cut compound. We're using a wool pad and the Makita to help remove the oxidization from the surface, then going back over it with the polish. The polish helps get those light swirls, water spots, and boosting the shine of the surface. The next step is using the surface wipe. The surface wipe removes all polishes and residues, essentially acting as a cleaner before the ceramic coating is hand applied. So you're going to hand apply it to, at about three by three sections. You're going to make sure that the entire area that you're working is saturated with the coating and then going back over it with a clean microfiber cloth to make sure all of the coating, the excess coating is removed and you're going to repeat that process twice on the surface. Here at Glideco we have a range of products for the marine industry. We have a specific product for inflatables. We do have products, as you'll see throughout the most of this video, is from the water line up. So in these instances, a lot of it you're going to see is the, the hulls, uh, varying different colors, sizes of boats that have been applied. And common questions that a lot of boat owners ask is, is this, can it be applied to paint? Uh, uh, so all grip or all craft. And also, can it be uh, applied to gel coat? And the answer is yes, it can be applied to both surfaces. Uh, to, to help seal in uh, the pores on both paint and gel coat. And also another question that we get is this was a 25-year-old uh, boat, that edge water that just went up. And a common question that we get is, is it just a restoration product or can I apply it to a brand new boat? And you can do it to both. The, the only difference that you really see is just how much restoration steps go into those older boats. So the, the edge water, like you saw previously, will have to buff and restore that surface multiple times. Whereas the 66 Azimuth, the restoration steps, considering it was only a year old boat, the restoration steps are much less and you can apply the coating which will protect the surface going forward. An even better time to do it is when you just recently get a brand new boat. So it hasn't been exposed to any of the elements and you can get to put the coating on there to help protect it going forward and making sure that you're not getting any signs of oxidization. With this Ranger here, you can see the just the damage that you can get to those colored hulls here in South Florida. And that is the biggest advantage to what you would see with a ceramic coating compared to a wax. A lot of these boats that are shown here are, have come from the, the normal strategy of getting a, buff, or a boat buffed and waxed every six months. And as we know here in South Florida, especially on colored hulls, that is just not sufficient enough protection. And that is why you're starting to see these ceramic coatings really become popular within the industry. The other thing that we use as well is, as you can see there, is the gloss meter. The gloss meter gives us a reading of the shine off of the surface, and that 90.0 there is actually reading better than what you would get out of factory new. So we hope you find this video informative. If you have any questions about the advantages of ceramic coatings, we welcome you to check out our website as we have tremendous amount of case studies, and our team here at Glycoat can help address any questions that you may have.